The mighty Magathy is showing its muscle. You will notice these tiny muscles flexing on dock lines, on floating gardens, and on oyster cages. Volunteers with the Magathy River Association hope this exercise is getting the water in shape. They are, you know, constantly filtering um, the surrounding water and cleaning it up in the process. These shells aren't the kind you'll see served up on a plate with butter and garlic bread. They're called dark false mussels, considered native to the Chesapeake Bay. We have to go back to 2004 to recall the last time there were this many in the Magathy. When we did see them back then, we had a 300% increase of underwater grasses. New to the volunteers, actually, as we're shooting this story, they're spotting the shells opening and closing. Another good sign that they're alive and filtering the water. Close up, you can see that life. Lisa Crafton is in charge of the floating garden. Sure, it's pretty. The snakes and ducks like it, but there's a chance it could boost underwater grasses, which have been on the decline. As part of their metabolic process, the plants are utilizing the nutrients in the water, um, nitrogen, phosphorus, that is the, the nutrition that's helping the plants to grow. And in return, the plants are returning oxygen to the environment and to the, you know, the water. Volunteers think the heavy rain this spring contributed to low salinity in the Magathy, bringing on the mussels. This is Cattail Creek. Once a week, volunteers record the critical factors like dissolved oxygen. And our dissolved oxygen settled in at 5.6. And visibility. Well, visibility is important because it's a measure of the amount of suspended solids in the water. Uh, and with suspended solids, the chief source of that is stormwater runoff. They're controlling what they can by finding ways to filter the water to offset what they can't, the weather and development in the area. The plants have proven to withstand the boat traffic. And this year, the MRA president, Paul Spadaro, says volunteers predicted these mussels based on what they recorded in 2004. But there's a warning for dog owners. The mussels may be dangerous for pets. We were able to see the conditions prior to the explosion and be able to predict that we were going to get not a kind of a normal few muscles here and few muscles there and an explosion of muscles. Now they're trying to learn as much as they can about why these tiny shells are active, hoping they beef up the health of the river. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.